Hollywood Avenue construction project is trucking along and the city plans to finish it by fall. NBC 15's Marcus Arsvold spoke with Madison's Parks Division about how they plan to finish the east side project as quickly and eco-consciously as possible. Marcus? Construction workers are using city-owned parkland as a recycling site to mash up the old concrete and reuse it, something the Parks Department says is unique. And it certainly is not fun to go through some of the pain and the change to get there, uh, but I'm positive that uh, that area of the, the park system will, will continue to be a focal point for visitors and and, and residents. City of Madison Park Superintendent Eric Knapp understands the Atwood Avenue project impacts daily travels for Eastsiders like Angelia Weir. You know, our routes, we avoid them as much as possible, you know, as they're working on those projects. When Weir learned the city's using parkland on South Fair Oaks to recycle concrete, she understood the need for the nuisance more. I appreciate that the city is, you know, is actually using this area to do, you know, the concrete stuff because I didn't know that, you know, the trucks would have normal had to drive really far away um, so this way you know it's better it saves on gas I'm sure um, and uh, yeah the city I think is actually doing a, a great job to make use of this piece of land for the time being for it if your project involves demolishing something and part of the demolishing is recycling things that go back into building well you're gonna have more of the demolishing early and more of the building later. Nepp said the concrete recycling site will shut down for good once the Avenue project ends in November. This uh, concrete recycling kind of operation this year is the last one that will happen on that site. The city says next spring, Atwood Avenue's improvements will connect businesses to customers better with wider lanes and easier access. Live in the studio, Marcus Arswold, NBC 15 News.